go to Sam, who's in Deerham in Norfolk. Good morning to you, Sam. Good morning. What's your point? Well, I, I think that I would like to keep Scotland in the Union for two reasons. That there are a million Scots that don't, more than a million Scots, that don't want to join the EU. Indeed. So, They'd rather stay in England. It's just a, a bunch of what? What the problem? There's no problem with Scotland. What the problem is is Nicholas Sturgeon. Yeah, I agree. And the thing is that you know Scotland over the years have always produced very good soldiers. They they were supported. They are loyal to the Queen. They are loyal to the to the to the armed forces. You know, plus the fact. All right, you said that we the Scots get more per. Per, per, per capita under the Barnet yeah, formula. Yeah, then Britain does. Yeah. But if they were to go independent, because we've got such a liberal government in this country, and liberal-minded thinking people, they would be forever coming to us with a begging bowl because they can't, couldn't run that... They just, they're just not producing enough GDP. Well, I mean, the thing is, we'd be then entitled to say no, because you're a separate country. Yeah, but we no, we don't do that, do we? No, we don't. No, we, we don't. don't. Do that. But also, don't you think the SNP should actually concentrate on running Scotland properly? Yes. I mean, I the catalogue think... of failures, I've got about 100 things they've failed to do in front of me. Yeah, but I don't think, I don't think there's anybody in Scotland, that the SNP members, who have got enough... IQ to run the country. Let's go and join Mark in Glasgow. Uh, Mark, what's your feeling? Uh, do you think I'm being a bit of a maverick this morning? Uh, well, I think on, on, in terms of having the, an English referendum, yes. Uh, and many Scots admire and enjoy being part of Britain and admire the government. Uh, the SNP has spent the last 10, 12 years indoctrinating 14 to 16 year olds. Mm to vote for independence. At 16 they can vote, they have not a clue about the politics of what they're doing and at 14 they can register their interest in voting and then get bombarded by emails and uh, uh, Twitter feeds from the Scottish National Party about the greatness of voting for independence, but it's absolute tosh. Yes, I mean, there should be fact-checkers on that, shouldn't there? I mean, I understand the sort of emotional pull to having an independent Scotland, but, but the economics do not stack up, do they? Not in the slightest, and I used to work for an economic organisation that sort of uh, ran and then assisted companies in Scotland many years ago and worked with people like the CBI, the Institute of Directors, councils, uh, economic development organisations, and it's a fantasy, an absolute fantasy, and it's also very divisive and very mm. damaging mm. Uh, because you've got young people idealistically wide-eyed imagining it's all going to be great, and you've got these cynical politicians who are making an absolute shambles of the country. They can't run a, a pee up in a brewery. They're destroying everything. They're mm -hmm. taxing mm -hmm. in Scotland but, higher uh, than they are down south. But, and yet they're going to get, get in again, aren't they? The SNP is going to return more well, members, probably. Uh, well, if you, if you indoctrinate children of 14 to 16 to believe that uh, everything you're telling them is wonderfully true and lovely, and you even run a little... as, as a comic newspaper called The National that seems to, uh, that you can actually buy it... Uh, Locally, it's like the Conservatives having a purely a conservative viewpoint of the whole world yeah, yeah. And, and selling that. Are, are you, very, very, very quickly, because I have to go to the news, Sorry. but very quickly, are you worried that the English, the Welsh, the Northern Irish are getting a bit annoyed about this? I think, I think they are slightly ticked off, but uh, I, I think that it shouldn't be an issue, guys. We do love you. We love being part <laughs> of the United Kingdom. So don't go for it. Don't play Sturgeon's stupid little game. And uh, we'll be here for you, don't you worry. Mark, that is a wonderful uh, comment to leave that on. Thank you so much. That's Mark in Glasgow. Let's talk to Dom in Hampstead. Um, you're very welcome to Talk TV this morning. How are you doing? Thanks, Pete. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And um, what, what are your thoughts on Nicola Sturgeon and the Scottish referendum? Uh, the first bit is, uh, where is the money gone? Uh, because there's been an audit uh, by the SNP, but not by Westminster, and not an independent audit. Uh, I have friends in uh, Scotland who are uh, brilliant businessmen, and none of that money has been uh, applied to them. So what sort of money is this? Is it money coming from the UK taxpayer more generally uh, to Scotland? Through or? Westminster, yeah. who she hates, yeah. And all we see is uh, Ian Blackford. <laughs> yeah, he's the he's the uh, the, West, the Westminster leader who's, who who calls day. for 
Boris Johnson to resign every week, or almost yeah. every week. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, so what? Do you, so you're you're going? clearly not someone who believes in Scottish independence, Dom. Uh, no, I really don't believe in it, and I love the Scottish people, and I think they're being hoodwinked. In fact, humbugged. And what 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 would you, I mean? You, you don't think there should be another referendum then, presumably, or what what are your what would your plan be? It was one. Uh, I think it was um, it was clearly stated, and I think both of them uh, signed up to it, Salmon and Sturgeon, that it'd be uh, once in a lifetime. Well, unfortunately, seven years is not a lifetime, is it? It's not, actually, and uh, yeah, the, there's the, all these sort of fears of a kind of never end them. basically, you just keep going until you get the result you want. One thing that annoys me an awful lot, Dom, was in Ireland, in the Republic of Ireland, they got the quote-unquote yeah. wrong result uh, for the Lisbon Treaty and the Nice yeah. Treaty, and they just had another referendum until they got the one they wanted. Outrageous. Well, <laughs> Don't get me started on that. Because... Well, absolutely. Well, Dom, thank you very much for your call. Indeed, that's Dom and Hampstead. Martin is in Aylesbury and has given us a call on 0344 499 1000. Ma Martin, thanks so much for your call this afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon, Peter. I'm fine, thank you. Uh, tell us your thoughts on Scottish independence and uh, this whole issue. Well, I'm just trying to work out what, why does England actually need Scotland? And the only thing that I can actually think of is that we've got the nuclear submarine base in Scotland. I mean, there are, there, there are other reasons, surely, are there not? Uh, I don't know of any. So you, would you be happy... I mean, if, if you got the submarines sorted, the nuclear submarines, would you, and if they happen to be, and all four of them happen to be based in... Uh, Brit, uh, sorry, English bases, I should say, would you be happy to jettison Scotland? Absolutely. I don't see what Scotland bring to England. All I do see is money flowing one way to support their poorly run country. Wow. I mean, a lot of people would would say that the union is a good thing, that there are many benefits. It's an ancient union between the countries, that there is a great cultural understanding between the Scots and the English. You, you're, you're not a fan. Uh, well, I won't say I'm not a fan. Well, yeah, it's, not that, it's not that you dislike Scottish people. Not at all. I'm just fed up that Scotland seems to think they're special in the union. And they're not. They take a lot from the union that if they were on their own, I have no idea how they would cope. So you think it should possibly be allowed to go their own merry way? If they want to, yeah, unless somebody can come up with a good reason why we need them. OK. Uh, well, Martin and Aylesbury, thank you very much indeed for your call uh, this afternoon. Really appreciate that. Uh